Hey guys, so I have another ab routine for you today and this one is all about stabilizing. So I find if I do too much crunch work, so things like sit-ups, I get a really sore psoas muscle and then it really hurts me here, in there. And that is the muscle where our leg hinges up and that's why it hurts when we do too many crunches. So I do this one to avoid doing too many crunches and also it helps my riding massively because when we're riding, we're not sat there doing crunches or we're not meant to be. Um, and we're, it's all about stabilizing. So this is why I do this one. With these exercises, it's all about control. It can be quite hard, but what you wanna think about is your body not rocking side to side in most of them, but I will talk you through as I go along. So just go through this as many times as you feel you can. You can either time yourself or do reps, but I tend to just do it until I can max out. So let's get into it, guys. So first up is high plank shoulder taps. And what you wanna make sure with this is that your hands are directly below your shoulders. You wanna try and not swing too much left to right, although you are gonna move a little bit to keep your balance. It's important that you keep your core active in this because we don't want our hips to lower too much as this will put too much strain on our back and we don't want them to go too high, otherwise our core isn't working properly. This exercise is also really good for your shoulder strength and it also improves your balance. Next up is the classic plank, and this one is so good because it works all four areas of your abs. So again with this one, we need to think about keeping our back flat and not letting our hips go up or down. A good way of thinking about it is drawing your belly button towards your spine and this will keep your core active. So I would say this one is the hardest out of the four. It will definitely get you out of breath and really work those abs. So what you wanna do is move from high plank to low plank. And I always try and alternate hands that I go down on as this will work each shoulder equally. Again, like the other two, it's important that you keep your back as level as possible and try to not swing side to side too much, but you are gonna have to move a little bit. And lastly is side planks, and these are really gonna be getting those obliques. So you wanna have your arm that you're resting on at a 90 degree angle and think about keeping your hips up. You can either have your hand on your hip or straight up in the air. Try to keep both hips stacked above each other so that you don't tilt backwards or forwards. So there is a little ab routine for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment box below. If you've enjoyed it, share. If you have any requests, just let me know and I'd love to make a video. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one. I really wish I hadn't done this after lunch. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. <laughs>